voices and worship today in the name of Jesus we want to pray and the focus of our prayer says anointing to flourish in scarcity can you say it after me anointing to flourish in scarcity hallelujah um, I want to say that it's part of God's provision that we, the children of God, prosper. In all, whatever we do at all times, and even in times that is not so easy, times that is difficult, time of hardship, time of scarcity, you know, that is the provision of God. But you are going to agree with me that there is a difference between provision and possession. To turn God's provision into possession, there is the responsibility that you have to take. And part of it is what we want to do this morning. What is it? To pray. Hallelujah. To do what? To pray. Men ought always to pray and not to, to faint. When you can pray, God's provision can be turned to possession. That shall be your experience. In the name of Jesus, you will pray. Psalm 92 verse 12, the Bible says, The righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Hallelujah. Can we be upstanding and say, my father, prayer one, let me flourish like palm tree. Let me grow like sedai in Lebanon in the name of Jesus. I want you to be exciting because you are praying according to the word of God. Pray it from your heart. You are praying according to the word of God. When you pray according to his will, that is our confidence that we know that whenever we pray according to his will, he answers us. Open your mouth and say, my father, let me flourish like palm tree. Let me grow like cedar in Lebanon in the name of Jesus. We don't want to waste time on what a palm tree is, what a cedar is, but pray. God understands what you are asking, what you are praying. Open your mouth and say, my father, let me flourish like a palm tree. Let me grow like a cedar in Lebanon. In the mighty name of Jesus, let your mighty hand come upon me to make me flourish. In the name of Jesus, I shall not be stunted. I shall not be weak. I shall not be feeble. I shall flourish. Open your mouth, brethren. Let us pray to God in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. As you go on, remember, palm tree doesn't, it's not affected by famine. See, that is not affected by dryness or drought. Look at Genesis chapter 26, verse 12. Beginning from verse 1 of Genesis 26, you find out that famine came upon the land. The Bible said, apart from the one that occurred during the time of Abraham. And it was in the mind of Isaac also to run. And where would they always run to? Egypt. Going down. And if God told Isaac, don't go down to Egypt. Stay here. And I will bless you. And when you get to verse 12 of that chapter, you know, look at what the Bible says. The Bible says, I, Then Isaac sowed in the land and received in that year, I put it in that parenthesis, in that year of the famine. Isaac sowed in that year of the famine and hundredfold. That shall be your experience. In the name of Jesus. And the Bible continues to say, and the Lord blessed him. The Lord blessed him. This is a moment in Nigeria that we are talking of a similitude or a semblance of scarcity and famine. True of us. And that is why everybody, first thing that comes to mind is where can I run to? Because there is famine. 
But the word of God is saying, even right now in Nigeria, God can bless somebody. And that will be you in the name of Jesus. That God, the Bible is telling us that even somebody can still plant and sow in Nigeria and reap hundred folds. That shall be you in the name of Jesus. I want you to say, my father, grant me inner sensitivity and empowerment and wisdom to sow correctly and abundantly right now in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Say, my father, grant me inner sensitivity. Grant me empowerment. Grant me wisdom to sow correctly and abundantly right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, I shall not be weak. I shall not be lukewarm. I shall not be distracted. In the mighty name of Jesus. Is somebody praying? Is somebody praying? This is only time to joke or fiddle with your phone. Open your mouth. Say, Father, grant me inner sensitivity. Grant me empowerment. Grant me wisdom to sow correctly and abundantly. And abundantly. You are not sowing sparingly. You are sowing abundantly. Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, thank God I shall not be weak right now. I shall not be lukewarm right now. I shall not be distracted right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, I receive your strength. I receive your grace to know what to do. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, this moment shall not take an advantage of me. In the name of Jesus, every day that I wake up, I shall know what to do. And I receive strength to do what I have to do. In the mighty name of Jesus. And you pray, someone pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. There is a place in the word of God I want you to check it, check, and then see something that happened there. Second King chapter 7. Second King chapter 7. You know, before Second King chapter 7, there had been famine in the land of Israel. And the king then told the prophets to say, look, what, are you, what do you have to say about this famine? And that was what you have in the first verse of chapter 7. And the, the man of God said, hear ye the word of God. Thus says the Lord, tomorrow about this time, shall I so and so, you remember what he said. And someone who didn't believe was there. But when you get to verse 3, something happened. Verse 3, the Bible says, And there were four leprous men. Who are those men? They are leprous. Isn't that? At the entering of the gate, they, were, they said one to another, Why sit here until we die? Hallelujah. Why sit here until we die? Take note of something. They were leprous. They were where they were because they were not allowed into the city. But they were also affected by the famine. They had been constrained. That they, they had, before this time, they had been sitting there waiting for a time that something will happen. Waiting for a time that well, I mean, maybe there will be, there will be the, the famine will be. But this day, they, they call themselves, ah, why do we have to sit down here until we die? What can we do differently? What step can we take? Is it that we can think? Can't we do something? Hallelujah. So it's God speaking to someone. For how long are we going to sit the way we are sitting? Complaining the way we are complaining? Is there something that we can do differently? Can we think differently? Can we try to change the status quo? Look at what those people, lepros, even lepers, they also thought differently during famine. They didn't just sit down there. How many of us are just sitting, expecting government to do something that government cannot? The government itself is confused. They want to go to war now. I mean, if a right-thinking government in Nigeria won't be thinking of war, 
Can you see a government that is nothing? You know, why, what can we, you and I, children of God, what can we do differently? God didn't save us to punish us. What can we do? Even lepers. Hallelujah. They received that. And when you go to verse 4, and that is not what we are going to do now. I just want to see that. Even lepers, they did something differently. And I tell you, the word of God told us that what those le the step the lepers took changed the whole story. Hallelujah. Say, my father, I received an idea that will change my story. In the mighty name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Don't join them to continue to complain. Open your mouth and say, Father, let an idea come to me to change my story. In the mighty name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. That is the prayer I want to pray. Father, I receive your idea that will change my story, that will affect my community, that will affect my nation. In the name of Jesus, God can use you to change the story of Nigeria by one small idea. God can use you to change the story of your, of your family by one small idea. Say, Father, I receive an idea from you that will change my story. I receive an idea from you that will change my society, that will change my country in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your idea come. Open my inner understanding and drop your idea. In the mighty name of Jesus, I expect a better response to this prayer because many of us are not convenient. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. I want you to pray, say, Father, make me uncomfortable in the situation that I am right now. When we are comfortable, we are going to sit down. We are going to be doing jail. When you are comfortable, if God makes you uncomfortable, then you are going to take a step. Say, Father, make me uncomfortable in this present situation that I am in the mighty name of Jesus. Is somebody praying, God, my Father, make me uncomfortable. There is more that we can do. There is more that you can do. You can think better. You can take a better step. Make me uncomfortable, oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. I want to be uncomfortable in the situation that I am. So that there will be a change in my life. In the name of Jesus. Let your power make me uncomfortable. In the name of Jesus. Help me father. Let your name alone be glorified. Thank you Lord. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed. I want you to say after the order of Isaac. After the order of Isaac. Let me, re as I sow, let me receive a hundredfold, an abundant of abundance of blessing in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray after the order of Isaac, Father. As I sow, let me receive a hundredfold, an abundance of blessing in the mighty name of Jesus. After the order of Isaac, Father, as I sow, let me receive a hundredfold in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Prayer 3, Psalm 1, verse 3. The Bible says, And it shall be like a tree planted by rivers of waters that bringeth forth its fruit in its season. Its leaves also shall not wither, and whatsoever it doeth shall do what? Sharp proper, say my father, make me to be like a tree planted by the rivers of water in the mighty name of Jesus. Let me bring forth my fruit in my season. Ah, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, let not my leaf wither. Oh, my God, arise for me. And whatsoever I do, whatsoever I lay my hands upon, because I'm redeemed, let it prosper, Lord. I have known you, surrendered my life. Oh, my Father, let me become like a tree planted by the rivers of waters that bringeth forth its fruit in its season. Let not my life fail in its season. There are seasons, there are times. Let not my life 
fail in its season and time. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let not my leaf wither. Oh my God. Let not my leaf wither. Let not my leaf wither. In the mighty name of Jesus. Whatsoever I lay my hand upon. Let it prosper. Whatever I do. Let it prosper. Let your hand come upon me. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you Heavenly Father. In Jesus mighty name we are praying. Prayer number 5. Sikara chapter 8 verse 12. The Bible says for the seed shall be prosperous. I know here amen. amen. For the seed shall be prosperous. The vine shall give her fruit. And the ground shall give her increase. And the heaven shall give their due. And I will cause the remnant of these people to possess all these things. That shall be your portion. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth say in the name of Jesus. My father. Let my seed be prosperous. Let my vine give her fruit. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth. Let my seed. It is not enough to sow a seed. Or to sow some seed. The father let my seed be prosperous. Let my seed be prosperous. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let my vine give a fruit. In the name of Jesus. Let my vine give a fruit. Open your mouth and pray to God. Only God can help you. It is not enough to sow a seed. It is not enough to plant a vine yet. It is God that giveth increase. Let my vine give a fruit. In the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and say, my father. Let my ground give a increase. In the name of Jesus, let my ground give an increase and let heaven give a deal upon my life, upon the work of my hand. In the mighty name of Jesus, I shall not labor in vain. I shall not labor for the wind. I shall not work for nothing. In the mighty name of Jesus, your mighty hand shall come upon my life even to bless me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Let us say, like palm tree, whatever happens in Nigeria, let me flourish. How many of us want to flourish? You open your mouth and we we'll pray it. Things are happening in Nigeria. Appears and obviously so that there is a disconnect between government and the citizen. Nobody is thinking about us. But we have a God in heaven that is thinking about you and me. And we can cry to him. We don't have a government to cry to in Nigeria. We, can, we have God in heaven to cry to. And when we cry to him, what does he do? He answers us. Say like palm tree. Whatever happens in Nigeria, my father, let me flourish. Let the land of Nigeria bring forth a fruit for me in the mighty name of Jesus. It's on the screen. Open your mouth and pray. My father, like a palm tree, whatever happens in the land of Nigeria, let me flourish in the mighty name of Jesus. Cause me to flourish. Cause me to bring forth in abundance. Cause me to be blessed. Cause me to be lifted. Cause me, Lord, to be favored in Nigeria. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let the land of Nigeria bring forth a fruit for me. Let the land of Nigeria yield forth a seed for me. Let the abundance in the land of Nigeria be opened unto me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Cause things to work for me in Nigeria. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah to you.
In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. How many of us have prayed those prayers very well? As you have done, may the Lord answer you. May the Lord speedily answer your prayers in the name of Jesus. May you flourish in, in, in scarcity, in famine, in the name of Jesus. May the land of Nigeria yield our increase for you in the name of Jesus. May you be remembered from all over the world in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed.